what is up guys welcome back to the channel king customs here now today we got our mat for this geo tracker let me show you what i mean okay so uh reason i'm sitting down real quick is my legs are insanely sore did a workout today and i am beat i'm literally beat and literally just came back from a walk and i cannot feel my legs at all right now so <clears throat> just bear with me a little bit okay so anyway whoo i'm gonna feel this in the morning guys um this is our mat i bought this roll from lowe's and uh it's like a 10x utility protector kind of thing um i'm not sure it's meant to really be used for flooring but i'm using it for flooring because it's cool and so far i already did some in the driver's side it's pretty awesome geez my water bottle fell i gotta get this too this doesn't feel that great all right so i might have overdone it in the gym but anyway look at what we got so far guys tell me this doesn't look sick now obviously i need to neaten it up a little bit better um it's still going through the process i use some glue some spray adhesive glue so it's gonna hold down have to cut some holes for the seat to bolt in stuff like that so it'll be pretty good and set passenger side's pretty much already done as well um i left the trunk space for you guys one because it's an open space i can film properly and two it's just easier for me to do so uh let's get on to doing that right now so we're basically going to cover this entire section here um not there because that's where the seat's going to go but we're going to cover here which is going to be our trunk space now at this stage of the build we have the opportunity to turn this into an open concept avalanche this is where it's going to go um i'm not sure if i really want to sell it as of right now anymore i'm pretty indecisive about that so we don't know yet but this is where we're going to focus on at the moment see thing is i ended up doing some research and I can probably get five, six thousand dollars for this because I see a lot of people have them up for sale in this area for about that price, and they're actually going five, six grand. Um, so I figured if I make it the way I want it, I can possibly get that. Plus, I can try to figure out a way to keep the back seat, but still have the access to fold the seat down and put a mid gate, if that makes sense. Um, as well as a little tonal cover. So I think I'll have the options to do that. So I'm going to try to figure out some kind of way. I just got to go to the drawing board and figure that out. But let us just focus on this episode for right now, which is laying down our carpet, vinyl thingy, polyurethane, the vinyl. I don't know what it's called, but let's lay that down. So here's what it's going to look like basically laid down. Um, we're going to measure it up to suit. It's just going to be this little part here that's going to have a little... It's just going to be this little part here that's going to be a little mat. So that's what it's basically going to look like. Cover from one end to the other. As neat as we could possibly do it. You know, but yeah. So far so good. So let me stick this down with some glue and then we'll get back to y'all. Alrighty guys, so here is what it looks like right now. Now, don't judge the appearance that it's not as neat as it should be. I guarantee you when everything's put back together, you're not even going to notice a lot of these things. It's going to look so good. Alrighty guys, so we basically got the floors done, this part done. The only thing that's left is to put in our seats. So I'm going to hop to putting in that in right now. And then we have to put in the trim. Once the trims are in place, we're going to start to see the mats look a little bit neater. Um, another thing too, once the center console's back in, those pieces are going to be a little bit neater. Obviously, wherever doesn't have enough tackiness with the glue, we're going to have to re-glue and put down on that spot. But I think I made a good choice getting these instead of carpet because you don't know. You don't know how messy you're going to be, how your shoes are going to be, if it's wet, if it's not wet, and they'll be easier to clean. Now... Here's where I told you this is the part where we don't know where to go with this build. Should I put it back to original like we originally said? Or what we originally originally said, should I build it to be an off-roader? Because right now is where we can make these differences and tweaks. Um, 
I am going to put in the original interior back inside. But there are modifications that I can do to turn this into somewhat of a mini avalanche, to turn this into an off-roader, really get the suspension and stuff right. First, let me, how about this? Let's focus on the um, interior. I love when I talk to myself. It's basically me talking to myself here. But let's focus on the interior of this build real quick. And once the interior is finished with, then we can focus on what we're doing 4x4 wise with suspension and stuff. So stay tuned. Alrighty, King Custom Soldiers. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end this video right here. I know it's super short, like majority of the videos out there. But um, anyway, we're going to end it here because... Tomorrow is when I'm going to start putting the interior back together. Before I put this interior back together, I want to make sure that the seats are clean, make sure that the center console is clean. So basically tomorrow episode, tomorrow's episode is going to be cleaning a lot of the stuff and then putting it back into the interior in one go. I want to wait till the sun is out also. That way we can get proper dryage of our seats and stuff when I wash them out and clean them. I want to get rid of all the grime and stuff, make sure everything's nice and clean. And that way, it'll be a nice, fresh vehicle to sit in and stuff like that. And then we can start working on detailing the vehicle. And then we can work on patching the outside, which right here, it just needs this patch here. And it needs a patch on the other side. And it also needs a patch on the little gas door. We can do that. I have a, I have a big piece of metal patch right here that should definitely work for both sides and the door. Other than that, there is no other rust spots around, and it's pretty solid. So, let us end this right here. I'll see you guys for the next one. I hope you did enjoy this quick episode. Sorry that I don't spend enough time with y'all on my episodes, but I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta get this one out. So, guys, I'll see y'all for the next one. If you like this video, please make sure that you hit a like in the video also leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe if you're not a subscriber i'll see you all for the next one peace